and thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Dave Wagner in for Josh today and I'm Courtney Robinson. First up here on 10 Tampa Bay tonight, a technology game changer following the impact of Hurricane Ian drones were instrumental in helping first responders look for survivors and various agencies assess the overall damage. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba spoke to some drone pilots who have been heavily involved in some of these preliminary efforts. Before the hurricane hit, drones were used to map out the area and model buildings and street locations to provide pre-storm images. That information came in handy when the floods took over. We were able to get drones in the hands of, of agencies that may not have the most experienced drone pilots in the world, but being, being able to get in their hands and allow them to accomplish the missions under high stress environments. Drone pilots Chris Mauser and colleague Brian King have been mapping out places like Northport and Fort Myers, where flooding from Hurricane Ian left homes in higher than three to four feet of water. Their drones were also used by first responders throughout the area. People using our drones to go into, and go into the mangroves our autonomy flight gives pilots the ability to get really, really close to things and not run into them. Real-time video feeds are sent into emergency management centers. Make it really useful for law enforcement, accomplishing things they could never do before, getting closer to things they couldn't do before. If it's search and rescue, if it's um, conducting mapping missions so that they can report up to FEMA. State and federal emergency response leaders use the information to make rapid decisions about where to deploy resources and what areas need urgent reconstruction intervention to aid rescue, recovery, and relief efforts. You had Pine Island Bridge, you had the Sanibel Island Causeway, and these drones are constantly running up and down these bridges, monitoring the structure, monitoring the progress, um, of these bridges as they're being built back up. The data collected is also used to assist with insurance claims and to determine whether property like cars and boats are recoverable. In Sarasota County, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. And they have more than 50 drones operating in affected areas. The drones also help first responders assess danger to decide whether they should even go into certain areas after a storm, you know, or you know, stay in a safer location.